Hey guys, Sandy here, and today I am super excited to be scrapbooking this photo of my uh, Riesling wine glass here. Um, today I am using some Paper House products. I pulled out some washi tapes. Now these are just pretty. This is a polka dot and a floral. This actually has wine glasses and some distressed gold. I pulled out my Stargazer too, just in case the colors decided to look good to me. And I have these really cool uh, Sticky Picks clear cuts wine stickers. And since today is wine day and my birthday, we are going to celebrate. So let's see what I can do. All right, rolling up my sleeves and we are going to get in it. Now, I knew I wanted to do something with the washi tape and create kind of my own pattern paper. And at first I thought I was gonna use that floral and just have this beautiful floral background, but instead I decided to do wine glasses. And I'm really, really excited how this turned out. I made sure not to have the wine stop at the same point. So you can see that there is a wine glass that is kind of leaning down and has a little wine out of it. I made sure that that wasn't repeated in the same spot. So you wouldn't have one big line of wine glasses that kind of fell down <laughs> and it was it would just be there. See, and then I'm noticing that I need to pull this over because they are now and it's kind of a diagonal line so I just go ahead and get that going now I do not make this washi tape completely straight all the way up the paper so when I get to the end I see that my lines are not completely straight and if I would have used my grid mat instead of just plopping it down here uh, willy-nilly then it would have been fine see you can tell it doesn't exactly uh, match up, but that's okay. You can't really tell once I'm finished with the layout anyway, so it's all good. I'm just rolling back the washi tape, pulling it over. Of course, you could also cut it off if you want it to. Um, I just can't be bothered. It's super easier to just go ahead and roll that behind. So I just go ahead and leave that uh, poor little washi tape off by itself. Now I trimmed off the top, and like I said, you can't tell that those wine glasses are not uh, straight. Now this is just a piece of gold uh, textured cardstock. I'm not sure where it came from. I think I got it in a kit sometimes from somewhere. I also have a couple of uh, cardstock 6x6 papers and they are in purple. And I figured that the purple went great because the wine on the washi tape is red wine and also I have that floral washi tape that I want to pull in. And I'm totally okay with the fact that I'm drinking a white wine and my decoration is red wine. I think it kind of makes both of them pop to have them against each other like that and I really like the look of it. So I'm trimming down my gold textured cardstock. I'm kind of going with a center of the layout design that's you know kind of kind of centered like it's it's pretty it's pretty weighted in the center and I'm flipping through my clear stickers now one thing I do love doing with clear stickers is to take the stickers and back it on something so I've realized that I'm going to use this uncork and unwind as my title and that works great for me. I love it when I can use something that is a pre-made uh, for a title so I don't have to come up with something. Super easy to do this. Um, I just go ahead with my scissors and I'm trimming around the edge. Now these clear stickers do have kind of like the clear halo around them, which makes it perfect for me to be able to trim around them. Now I am not going to cut out all my clear stickers and like mat them on like this. That is not gonna be something I do, but I do do it with the title. I also like the lighter purple kind of hanging out behind the darker, like almost Merlot kind of purpley of the uncork and unwind. Now because of my lighting, you can't really see it, but there is also some gold foiling on uncork and unwind and that makes me happy. Now, I am doing this for a reason. As you can see, I put the washi tape directly onto the white cardstock and it works great, like I love the way it looks. 
but I'm going to use this washi tape kind of as a shelf for my photograph and I don't want the bump that you get when you're going uh, from page to page or layer to layer not page to page and I want to give it a little bit more um, rigidity and substance so I just go ahead and place that washi tape over top of the cardstock and plus it gives it a little bit of a deeper color uh, the cardstock is complete, or the washi tape is completely colored, but there is a very, very slight difference in color. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. You can see it in real life. It just looks a little bit deeper and a little bit bolder. So I'm flipping through my stickers, and I'm thinking I need to do something. And then I decide, you know what? I don't have anything adhered yet. I need to make that happen. So I just add adhesive to all my little bits that I have going on. I am using a, an ATG. And then I just figure out, you know, kind of where the stuff was. And of course, I don't remember exactly how I had it. Um, I really liked where I had it before I pulled everything off to add the adhesive, but I kind of forgot. So I just decide to do it over. And I like the way that this looks as well. And that's always exciting when you like the way your own layouts look. So I do put this uncork and unwind. Now I thought about popping it up on foam tape, but I really am keeping this page pretty flat. There isn't a lot of, there's not going to be a lot of heft, a lot of weight. There's not going to be a lot of bulky things. So I decide not to uh, for that particular reason. Now if I was going to add a whole bunch of bulky things or like really get into a whole bunch of paper layers, then I definitely would have made that uncork and unwind stand out a little bit more by having it popped up. By like, But like I said, this is a pretty flat layout. So I found these great uh, little stickers and I didn't like the way that they were placed over top of that washi tape. So I carefully pulled them up which is pretty awesome that you can actually pull up these stickers if you don't get it down in the exact same or the exact correct place that you want it to be firsthand. So I pulled that up because I'm like, I need to do something. I need to add a little something. I grabbed that pink polka dotted tape and I'm just adding it, I'm layering it. One of my favorite things to do with washi tape is layer a thicker and a thinner one over uh, together. I just think that it adds a really nice look um, without a whole bunch of, you know, pomp and circumstance. You got something that looks really cool with something really easy to do. And it's fun that you can mix and match washi tapes. So this purpley one definitely goes with the wine one and definitely goes with the, the gold one and definitely goes with the pink polka dot one. So that is super exciting. Now I'm thinking about adding another sticker and I'm not exactly sure what yet. I really think that these wine stickers are fun and I can't really use like wine country because I mean I'm in my living room here with this glass of wine. So what I do decide is pull out the florally uh, greeny bits that are in that washi tape and I'm going to add some vines and I think that that works great. Oh, first I'm going to first I'm going to try to put these little wine glasses on there. I forgot. I was going to duplicate what I had down here on the right bottom side of the page with that gold sticker that kind of looks black in the video right now. There we go. Now this is where I get the idea to do the vines. So I just cascade that kind of down off the washi tape and I'm going to make sure that I have one underneath of my title as well. And since I've already put it in two places, might as well put it in three and I add it on this last bit of washi tape as well. So that is going to do it for the stickers and I'm thinking I just need a little something more. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But I'm thinking maybe some enamel dots and I pull out some options. Now these are some glittery ones and they match pretty good with one of the purple colors that is in that washi tape. But it's not, it's not really grabbing me. Like it's not, 
making me think this is what I need to put on this page. So I grab some of these little uh, adhesive gems and at first I thought I was going to put on the purple ones but that purple was like whoa whoa that is not the right color purple. Uh, then I decided to try for this big old bling that I've had in my stash for a while. Uh, I actually don't know if I'm ever even going to use that because it has been in my stash for such a long time. The adhesive is actually starting to yellow on it. Now here is what I decide to go with. These are some very thin adhesive uh, kind of gemstone type things. I got them at one of the big box craft stores. I can't exactly remember which one. So I'm just going to layer that on top of the washi tapes and it just gives it a little bit of a finished look. Just a, something that's a little bit more exciting. It doesn't add a whole lot of thickness or bulk to the page and it's just something that has a little bit of texture to kind of excite your eye. So because like I said, this is a very flat page, I needed to do something that would just give it a little bit of extra oomph. Now here I am, I am just kind of going through and trying to figure out what in the world I am going to do. I'm actually trying to figure out what I'm trying to do here. Oh, I had had the idea of doing some journaling strips across the uh, two pieces of paper. Um, it's not the washi tape paper and the gold paper. And it just didn't... It just didn't look right with those purples. So I was like, nope, we're not going to do that. Now this is a little banner sticker. I only put it on there because uh, it was gold and I thought it looked good. No other purpose to it than that. Uh, that has been living in my stash for a while as well. And then I pull out some word stickers. And they're not... Like there isn't a whole lot of profound journaling on this page there's not a like this isn't a huge story that I want to tell but it is something uh that I do want to tell it's a it is a story I want to tell just that you know I like drinking a glass of Riesling wine every once in a while um and on this particular day it was after I had uh, scrubbed the house so that was um just a little a little bit more of why you know, it felt good to kick back with a glass of wine that day. So I'm just trying to figure out what looks the best with these little label stickers. And I'm trying to kind of space them out. I'm trying to get them to be weighted um, in the right way. So it isn't too top heavy. It isn't too bottom heavy. It just, it looks right. And then I decide this page is great. It is a very... Uh, not a whole lot of stuff going on in it and that is perfect but I just needed to give it a little bit of something so I decided to outline the entire layout with my Muji pen and I'm like yes so then I decide you know what these little white uh, like mini word phrase stickers are kind of getting lost on my layout so I just go ahead and outline them as well and I'm just doing a quick messy outline like this is nothing nothing structured nothing anything like that and I feel that since everything is I mean this is a pretty structured layout it's very like rectangle rectangle square lines it's very linear and in that way I felt like I had to add a little bit of fun so the cascading uh vines do that and then the messy kind of outline does that as well because even though I'm, I'm keeping with something that is outlined um, and it is these very linear like shapes the little bit of uh, like messiness to the lines kind, kind of kind of gives it that little not so rigid linear structured look I don't know if I'm communicating that very well but it it makes sense in my head, so I'm hoping it makes sense to you guys. So I add that little bit of journaling, and that is it. The layout is finished. Thanks so much, for, guys, for watching, and I will see you again soon with another video. Ugh, I just love that washi tape paper. Okay, talk to you guys later.